Okay, decals are part of the universal render pipeline now, and that's version 12 and up with Unity 2021.2 and up, and it's very quick. I'm gonna demonstrate how easy it is. I'm gonna drag these decals that I have prepared here. I have three of them. I'm gonna enable transparency on. I'm gonna go back to my assets. I'm gonna have settings. That's where my universal render asset is. I'm gonna add a render feature called decal. I'm gonna go back to my assets. I'm going to go to decals. I'm gonna add a new material here. Call it graffiti decal. Change the shader to a decal shader. That should be the first one I find. Shader graphs decal. On their base map, drag my graffiti. Then go back to my hierarchy. If I want to add here a new one, go to rendering decal projector. And it's already in the scene. It can also be added through add component and decal projector is right there. I'm going to place this on the wall. I'm going to drag the decal onto the material and it's working, but it looks messed up. And that is our direction here of our projection is downward through our gizmo. We could see the white one is our direction of projection. So we will change that toward the wall. I'm going to change the rotation here to zero on the X and negative 90 on the Y. And it's already working much better now. I'm also going to get rid of this white lines through the uh, normal blend setting to zero because we don't have a normal map set and we don't need to blend. So after that, it's a matter of stretching. And if we want to, we go to through our values here, or we can go through gizmos. On the first one, we'll be stretching and deforming. The second one will be for cropping. So inward will crop, outward will tile it. You can move pivot. So that could be centered. There can also be multiple stacks of projections. So I will make a new copy of this one. I'll Duplicate this well call it grime decal. Drag the grime texture. Go to decal projector. Expand that. Add that as the grime. And it's working pretty well on top of the graffiti. And now we can add one last example, and that is the blood splat material. Same thing, I'm going to duplicate this one. I'm going to drag this texture. I'm going to go back to the projector, drag this material, and it's already working. I'm going to change the direction a little bit to make it look nicer. And it works on both meshes, and it can also work in anything that's included in this volume area that can be tweaked anytime from scale. So you can make it bigger to include more materials, etc. And that's how easy it is.